We're going to head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. This is Charles Boykin in Dayton, Ohio. Let's get David Njoku to work out with the defense. David Njoku needs to work out with Jim Swartz. Jim Swartz will get his hands together. He would have him catching 500 balls a day off the jug machine. He'll have his hands so raw, he'll have to catch the ball. Go Browns! Uh, well, this is from David Njoku yesterday. Great team win. Uh, he's saying his play was unacceptable. Got to do better. Thankful for my brothers for fighting till the end. One and zero. He had 15 targets, seven catches, um, had some drops, but we did find out he said it, and uh, Kevin Stefanski confirmed it. He went home and started working at his jugs gun at home, so uh, he's a step ahead of uh, ahead of our caller there. I, again, <laughs> he, he's got to catch those, but he knows that. He knows what. He's an important role of this. He does, and it kind of cracks me up that, you know, the callers think that, like, Jim Schwartz has all these answers, right? Like, like Kevin Stefanski's not having his guys on the jugs machine, right? Like, it's only the defensive guys. Um, but, yeah, I, I thought, you know, I, I think that in a Joku game and then his response to it tells a lot about it because that was an issue early in his career, right? The consistency catching the ball. There were too many drops. Practice in games, you just saw it too much. I think through the last, you know, I don't know if it's two, three years, He's really been better catching the ball. Now, he's not. He doesn't catch everything, but nobody does. And his drop rate has gone down substantially. But then it pops up yesterday. So, you know, that's inconsistent. That's concerning. Um, the Browns are over to co- able to overcome it. He still had seven catches. He had a big catch late, um, a couple big catches late. And then, But I, I think the important thing is the growth in his maturity. Um, you know, five years ago, he probably doesn't go home and get on the jugs gun. But he did, and he proved it to his coach, and he thinks that he cares enough to do it, to talk about it, and to tell his coach he's doing it. So, um, you know, it's a little weird there that he FaceTimed his coach to show him that, but I think it's a good sign overall, and I think you have seen, a, you know, a, gen- or a gradual progression from Njoku where he is one of the best tight ends in the league now. And he knows with Dorian Thompson-Robinson at quarterback, he's going to be a big part of the offense. He, he just is, and he's got to catch the ball. So, I, again – can't, can't fault him for, uh, for going and working, trying to make sure he corrects that. 